What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with multi-platinum rapper Meek Mill. Gang. We used to be having so many pair of Jordans where, like, where you'll wear like uh, this one on the left and this one on the right. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then uh, hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Yeah, let's go. We ready? Let's go. Meek, I want to talk about growing up in Philly and a role model you had. He was actually on the show, Allen Iverson. Yeah, and to me, Allen Iverson was like running our city at the time, you know what I mean? Uh, he was the only person you could see first, like with your own two eyes on the Rolls Royce, so you get motivated different when you see it from like TV. AI had the style, he had like the charisma, the braids, everything. Yeah. He was doing what he wanted on the court. That's what we live by in Philly, like do what you want, never let the game like change you and to the point that where like you're not even yourself. You know, AI he was doing his own thing, you know, we was that was my favorite player growing up. You actually got to hang out with him now when you reached a level of fame. Yeah. What is that like? Is that like a dream? Yeah, what, it's like for a you? dream for me. We used to be like on the corner, like, man, I wonder what Allen Iverson doing right now, man. He probably 20 chicks in Miami somewhere, you know what I mean? We just used to be pondering sometimes, right. me and my homies. But yeah, it's definitely a dream to me, AI, and be around them and be a part of his life. Talk about Vans, you've been wearing them a lot lately. Yeah. When did that start? When were you into Vans? It seems I've been like- I've Vans for like five years. Really? But now they just taking it to a whole new level. Like yeah. Supreme Vans, I got all these right here. I don't got these ones right here. I like these though. Yeah. Supreme Vans, uh, they've been coming out with like, I like suede the most. I like suede more than leather, but they've been coming out with that fire in the last year. Like, I've always been wearing it for like two, three years now. Let's walk down here, let's talk about a Philly-centric New Balance and a deal that you signed. Meek, I want to talk about the New Balance 990. Yeah. Do you remember growing up and people wearing them? I remember wearing New Balance when I was like seven years old. We started out wearing like the real cool gray ones. What was significant about New Balance in Philly back then? I don't know, it was, we used to see all the like dope boys on the corner with them, you know, they was the guys in the neighborhood that had the money. So, you know, growing up, they was like trap snakes basically, like when you just chilling and lounging, but they was fly, you make sure you keep your fresh pair. It was comfortable too, it was like, if you stand on a block all day, you got on a comfortable sneak and New Balance was always known to have like, some of the most comfortable track sneakers. You might gotta run from the law. Looking through your Instagram, you did a throwback Thursday of a Reebok S. Carter. Yeah. It released in 2003, and your caption was, I couldn't afford these when they dropped. What was it like back then not being able to get sneakers that you really wanted to? When the S. Dots came out, I was kind of like, I, my mom used to buy me all the sneaks. I ain't gonna sit here and like, down play my mom. Oh, so you hooked I, you up? No, but when I turned like 16, I went to the streets on myself. I stopped really going to the house like that. Okay. And that was the time where I had to like, transfer over to being like a man taking care of my own self and the s dots came out. I wasn't ready for that. And I wasn't going in the house asking my mom for money knowing what the, her bill situation is. Mm -hmm. She might not have had a job or something at that time. But growing up, some months you had good months. Yeah. You get the joys. Some months you don't. In 2012, Puma signed you. Yeah. You're the first of the wave of artists. Now we see The Weeknd, Kylie. Yeah. All of them. What was it like signing to Puma and the years that followed to see all these people signed? We don't really get down with it no more like that. We, we done moved on. We were on like Adidas, uh, New Balance still, yeah. Fila. Nike. Fila. Fila. Yeah, we bring the Fila back too. Do you enjoy the freedom now to wear whatever you want? Yeah, I enjoy the freedom. I, I want to wear like what I always wanted to wear. Even when I was in a deal, I used to still always wear what I want to wear because there's no way you could wear one sneak and make it look cool. We like the young trendsetters of the game, you know what I mean? And I can't wear one brand just to try to make it look good because you really take away from yourself. Do you remember what your first pair of Jordans were growing up and when you got them? When I was growing up, I used to have like all the Jordans early in the game. I don't remember which ones were my first pair, but I was having like whatever ones was coming out from 92. Mm -hmm. Going out. And do you remember like the first day of school, going to school in New Jordans? We used to be having so many pair of Jordans where like where you'll wear like uh, this one on the left and this one on the right. Really? Sometimes, yeah. We was tripping out. I don't know who was the one in the mansion, but 
You would wear one on the left sneak and one on the right sneak. That was like stunting when you was in elementary school back in the day. I saw the interview with Ebro and you were saying that you want to give hope to the youth. Yeah. And you mentioned if your sneakers are bummy. Yeah. What do you say to kids who maybe can't get the best sneakers? I always used it as my motivation. I remember one summer I had on like the same sneaks uh, for like a year. Matter of fact, that was like, you know, sneakers in our culture, like people kind of judge you often when it really don't mean nothing. But I uh, was supposed to go downtown. I had got out the bus, lost all my money with the three top guy. You know, that guy do the trick on the, with the yeah, cardboard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one around the time when the, my mom used to always know I wanted uh, a throwback jersey and they, she always knew they was real expensive. So I lost all my money. I had like $20 left. I bought some ponies and came back to my mom told her I paid uh, 500 for them. They some throwback sneaks. I ain't getting no sneaks probably for like a year. It was so busted. They probably was the busted pair of sneaks I had, but it always drove me to go in the house, write rats, motivate me to always want more. So, you know, I couldn't always get new, but that gave me my hunger and my drive to go get that new shit. Talked about S dots, you not being able to afford them. What is it like for this to come full circle and you being that kid in Philly that we talked about over there and now having access to all this stuff? I, I look at the little stuff that I might go in the store and buy any pair of sneaks I wanted and it might make me have a good day and make me feel good about the day. You know what I mean? It's, it's a blessing. I'm humble. I'm grateful for everything I got and being in this position. Even though be able to get my little cousin any pair of sneaks he want. You know what I mean? If he graduates school, do good in school, that means something because that's what I always wanted. To be in this position is, is great. No, no complaints. So we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. You get to browse the shelves, pick out some shoes. I need a Supreme Dirt Bike helmet. Hey, cool. Wait, uh, cool name that. Fire. These right here. What's up with these right here in the 10 and a half too? Let me get them snakeskin, grab them snakeskin ones in. So your total would be 3,824 and 78 cents. Okay. <laughs> So, me came through, got a bunch of new sneakers. Yeah. Thanks for coming through, man. Alrighty, make sure you go get that wins and losses in stores right now. <laughs>